Hi, so today I'm gonna be talking about the top 10 reasons why Document B sucks now you may be wondering why I'm doing this in Minecraft, and the simple answer is because I understand what you people nowadays want in a video, and the simple answer is stimulation, and a lot of it. So, that's what I plan to give you. I feel very stimulated right now. I plan to drop out of college for this. In all seriousness though, the three things that make Document A stronger are the author's credibility, the evidence, and the structure. Let's start off simple. The author of Document A is not only a former commissioner for a police station, but is also a former co-director for a prestigious university. Ooh, an outpost. Now, I'm no expert, but to me, that sounds like a pretty credible source. <laughs> Document B's author, on the other hand, is just some random journalist, which isn't very credible if you ask me. Whee! Next up is the evidence. Nailed it. Document A's evidence is a nice mixture between statistics and just good old-fashioned reasoning, which makes for actually pretty solid evidence. Oh, this cave goes down, doesn't it? But Document B's evidence is just almost entirely speculation, which isn't very solid nor convincing. So, Document A once again prevails. Duh! Document B's problems so far have actually been pretty tame and reasonable. Ooh, diamonds. Correction, just one. Just one diamond. There aren't any more. My day is ruined. And then there's structure. Oh boy, let me tell you about structure. It is no coincidence that those behind prison bars are overwhelmingly poor and black. Where is this coming from? The justice system is set up to extract wealth from those who are least able to afford it. The rich and powerful are frequently allowed to commit fraud? Excuse me, what the fu- Why is this never explained? Yeah, I'm gonna need a second after that one. I'm sorry it has to be you, but someone has to pay for that crime. Document B was awful. I'm running out of time. I'll see you later!